Look at that. Yeah, imagine how this looks. Put it on arrow, and then like that would be badass. So you can see everything. As I'm uh, out here, James actually let me borrow his uh, extender monopod, which I think is really cool. I think I need one of these because I put it like really low to the ground when I'm like riding my bike or something. Or uh, I don't know, maybe stick it out the window if I'm brave, like I'm not gonna lose my RV or something. But uh, it's happening tonight. We got a bunch of people. I myself have a bunch of people. Rich, 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 one of my YouTube viewers, came down and Russell's down here and showed me his digs. And we got a bunch of bunch of outsiders here tonight. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna make a little bonfire, drink some barley pop. Some barley pop. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Okay. begins. As I spill all over myself. I don't want to see these. Right, so that's the dilemma, right? The class B's are really cool, but I like, you know, they're so expensive. But the bigger you get, the more that's a Guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. I've got something really interesting to show you. Uh, actually, John Galt just let me uh, have permission to look at his uh, 96 Land Cruiser here. So we are going to uh, get a little run around and see what all he's got uh, hooked into this thing. Here's the solar panel setup that he has. It's two Brunton 62 watt solar panels. They are the flexible solar panels. Great for storing, I would imagine. On the back here for uh, water storage, he's got two five gallons that he could use for water, and then this one he's got gas in right now. Nice full-size tire that was actually put on the back instead of underneath the back of the chassis. And then this trash -aroo. so you don't have to store your trash inside the vehicle, right? It's really neat. Never heard of that before. This bed up here is actually a uh, pop-out queen-size bed, though. He's going to pop up and show me how that works, too. Hopping, so you're completely open into your... your or this is just uh, for a bed, Don. Hey guys, so Nomadic Fanatic is going to show off Maybe. his subscribers' <laughs> kick butt setup here on his uh, Land Cruiser RV. I'm here with James, by the way. He's going to help. <laughs> but over here is his uh, CO2 tank for filling up tires. It's actually also powered enough to do uh, some power tools. He can run well, power tools. Yeah. He can air up his tires. He can go up and down with the uh how much they're inflated that way he can run around in the desert uh with them without popping them and then he can go hit the freeway again and have enough pressure to get good fuel economy lots of storage refrigerator Fridge. cutting board cutting board storage storage very cool and uh the fridge here was really cold he had ice cold uh uh here's the bed it's an air top there you go Let's check it out. Up. The nomadic banana. There you go, a little light up there that's hooked into the inverter. Cozy. This over here is the uh, shower setup with a pump. There's the shower head, and I'll show you where that hooks in. So in order to heat the shower, he, it, the hookups are right here on the front of the vehicle and it's actually uh, heated by the engine uh, the actual heater of the engine and the cooling system it's pretty neat pretty original very cool they don't like cameras so i'm gonna keep my own <laughs> <laughs> rebels here, James, will you hold this baggie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How you doing? That was too easy. Yeah, Anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. We saw all our cameras and he's like, oh, let's keep going. Hey guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic, and I am out here at Bombay Beach. Basically, this is a 
I guess you could think of it as a kind of like a high-class version of Slab City. I'll go look at some other places, but I'm really close to the water right now, about 20 miles north of Slab City, actually. It's a lot of abandoned structures, a lot of mobile homes and trailers and dead fish. You can really smell the, the salt from the salt and sea. I don't know, it's hard to explain. The only thing I can really compare it to is uh, like Olympia, Washington, some of the, the mud bay stuff. When the tide goes way out and you're just like smelling goose poop and seaweed and stuff. It's hard to believe this is once a thriving place though. Trying to get as close to the water as possible here. I, mean, I know this is kind of like a desolate area out here and everything, but like, in my opinion, it's just, it's art too, at the same time. It's just as much art here as there is, like, people are like putting together out there in Slab City. The smell is starting to bother me though. Like, I'm afraid that I'm like starting to like taste it or something, I don't know. There are a lot of abandoned projects out here. Also, just a lot of free wood left behind. A lot of the wood that you actually see in Slab City comes from Bombay Beach. There's so many structures that were... I mean, look at this. It's like an old mud structure with wood. Part of a grand piano right there. Oh my gosh. Do not step on any nails, Eric. actually lives out here. It's just all desolate. Move in? Yeah. Which one are you looking at? It's really cozy here. Eric just asked How about me to move Home in. Sweet Hill? Uh, I think that's one suit here and fancy. I like that so. I like I like the inside. Yeah. We did a lot with this place. It's a fixer upper but uh, you know it has potential. Well, it's got plumbing. Yeah, it's pretty much ready to move in. Probably get it pretty cheap, don't you think? Free, probably. Free? Yeah. yeah. That'd be even better. Like... <laughs> Human bones. Let's see how far Eric's gets. The nomadic fanatic here. <laughs> oh. I'll check out one of these uh, abandoned dwellings here in Bombay Beach. Cozy, I'd live here. It's a fixer upper for sure. Her toilet. It's toilet ready. This is nice. It's really nice. I like the artwork. There is just something really eerie about abandoned places like this. Like, why? I don't... Like, I can't believe people aren't squatting in here already. And then I'll walk around the corner and find something in here. Oh my gosh. Look the carpet. Thank you.
Hey, it's Eric along with Jax. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get the latest updates. And feel free to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.